Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. What I got for you today is a quick and simple everyday garage thing. If you're like me and you have kids or mountain bikes and you've been finding that your crank bearings are getting slack in them uh, and you've cussed for probably about two hours about how to remove the actual crank arms and the bearings, what I've got for you is a how-to on this uh, Omoirs or whatever it is, Professional Bicycle Repair Toolkit. This is a basic kit. Comes with four things. Uh, I'll roll in where I got it from, probably Amazon. And what it is consists of is this specialized wrench with a screwdriver. Uh, this screw and attachment with threads on the inside and outside of it. This special uh, socket. And then this socket threaded portion to push off your crank arms. So we'll go through this really quick. Uh, this is a great little tool, uh, pretty inexpensive and easy to use. First thing we're gonna do is remove our dust cap. I can do that with my wrench here. And as you see, we have a bolt. Sometimes this is a nut, but this is uh, most likely is gonna be a, a nut in your case, but uh, this is a bolt. Uh, we're gonna use the uh, silver socketed portion and we're gonna feed it in there. One problem you come across is a regular socket won't fit inside of this area here. So we'll put that on there and see if we can yeah, just hand tight. Unscrew that. There's that bolt. So the next thing you have is you actually have your crank arm and the crank shaft. Now it is actually pressure fit on there. So when you tighten that bolt on there, it squeezes that crank arm onto there. So this is one of the problems you come across. The second problem you'll come across with pulling off your crank arms is that this doesn't come off. I've tried pushing, putting a uh, spreader across the back here and popping it off that way. Um, this kit really helps you out. So you're gonna take this, this black portion and you'll notice that there's threading inside of your crank arm here. And you'll simply just screw this in by hand. You really don't wanna go more than just hand tight on that. Uh, and then you're gonna go back to your silver socket. Now, before you do that, you wanna put your your wrench on and you could use just a regular crescent wrench in place of this as well but I find this wrench works best and what you're doing is you're threading this portion in to the actual uh, black part here into the crank arm and you're coming in contact with the crankshaft that goes in the middle of the, of the butt so now you've got this inserted in there and you're basically going to push in on that crank arm which is going to pull this or sorry push in on the crank shaft which is going to pull the crank arm off so this is a little bit tough at this point i'm going to go a little increment at a time now sometimes it's going to get hung up on you because it is a lot of friction on there so what i do is i grab my uh, rubber mallet or in this case a leather mallet and i just tap it i'm not tapping too awful hard um, as you can see, the handle is still in pretty good condition, and I've done this about four or five times on bikes. So, you feel like it, it's hard at first, and then it gets easier as that crank arm comes off. And what will end up happening is your crank arm will just come off. So there in less than five minutes, I've already gotten the crank arm off without having to uh, break out the heavy artillery. So from this point on, I'll take our specialized socket and you see all these teeth down in here. Our specialized socket meshes in with those. All right, now that our crank arm is off, what I'm gonna do is take off this outer threaded portion here. I'm just gonna get a screwdriver. And there is a wrench, but it doesn't come in this kit. And I'm going to unscrew. This lock ring. All right, so now that that's off, I'm going to take our socket wrench here. Let's see if I can't I got break torque. There. 
and now we're at our bearings as you can see this tool really helps out a little bit of struggle in there at the at the end there because of uh, the corrosion inside the lock bolt but uh, this actually saves you so much time definitely worth it if you're going to be taking off and putting on uh, main crank bearings or anything like this so uh, thanks for watching hope this helped out guys